Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a look at a Chinese pen, a pen from Far East. So this pen is from Jinhao and this pen is called Jinhao 86. So this pen is a copy of Parker 51. Right, so I'll talk about the pen, likes, dislikes and then we will have a small writing sample. So before we start, a humble request to all my viewers to please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Okay, so this pen, this is a Jinhao 86 model and this pen resembles Parker 51. Yeah, it is a copy of Par Parker 51. So you can see this, the, it has a steel cap. It says Jinhao here and then on the on the cap band then the clip it they have Im imitated the clip as well so this has that traditional parker arrow clip and then the finial maybe they have also copied the finial as well so it is the cap is screw on cap and then we have the pen the hooded nib as in parker 51 there is one sec band on the section and then this has a this pen takes a, a cartridge or a converter and I don't know if this can be used as a no this cannot be used as a eyedropper pen so this this is not sealed so this cannot be used as a eyedropper pen so this is a quite cheap copy of the Parker 51 but this pen is amazing this pen writes very very well so this is one of the this pen has one of the smoothest fine nibs that I have ever written with so I don't like fine nibs much so I usually tend to go for broader nibs maybe medium or broad but this pen had only you know this pen comes only with fine nibs so I had to go for this fine nib but this pen is the juiciest fine nib that I have ever written with it's a light pen very very light pen and you, you can post this pen and it has to be posted to you know make this pen a little bit more comfortable otherwise this pen is quite light and then you know it, it, it is even a short pen so it, it does not even fit the hand so you can post this pen so the other issue with this pen is that this uh, since it is uh, <coughs> Chinese pen, so it comes with the its own, you know, uh, issues. So this the the plastic in this pen is not of high quality. So you can you can already see these. There are some you know scratches on this section. So this is expected from this pen because they they, they are not very costly pens. So this is this is uh, if you want to use this pen very very regularly, just take care that you you know use this pens with care do not keep them with keys or any other sharp objects because this they this the plastic on these pens tend to catch scratches cap is quite heavy so this this you know when you post this pen so this pen becomes a very very comfortable pen so all of the weight comes here and it, it becomes a very balanced pen so let's do a small writing sample with this okay so this is my world bond pad okay so pen for the day is jinhao 86 and ink is pilot black standard one and this is the juiciest fine nib that I've used and this is with a fine nib okay so let me write something so uh, <clears throat> this is a juicy you know wet nib and I would like to mention, you know, I have abused this pen actually, you know, so this pen I have 
I have been using this pen from past six months, I think. And <clears throat> recently, I you know forgot to use the, this pen for a, about 15 to 20 days. And then when I just opened this pen and wrote with this pen, this pen just effortlessly wrote. I did not have to prime the nib. So the flow of the ink in this pen is just immaculate. You can, you know, never, and I have not seen any um, Chinese pen or any other um, che cheaper pens or, or affordable pens that come with such a good nib quality and the flow. I, I think I was lucky to have this, but probably I don't know if other pens also have the same kind of juicy nibs and then smooth nibs. This nib is not at all scratchy, it is just smooth, writes effortlessly. So this is, uh, you know, I have used uh, Jinhao's X700, 750, 450 also, but I feel this is the best pen that they have, you know, made, even, you know, uh, the nibs in 750s and, and, and uh, 450s, they they, they come in different uh, variations, but you, I, I'm not sure if you can get this kind of juicy nib in this in those pens. So this is the or I was just lucky. So I bought this pen from Amazon.com. Dot in. So I am not sure if it is this pen is available anywhere else or not, but you can get it from here. And this pen costs around 400 rupees. So this is not very costly as compared to the other Indian and you know other fountain pens so so with, at this price range this this is just a you know great deal to have this pen is a must must have pen for for a you know regular writer who wants to write long effortlessly needs a smooth pen this is a pen to go I think. this is a very very nice pen so hope this video has helped and thanks for watching the video please do subscribe to the channel like to the video and keep watching thank you bye bye